guys hang on Hooray! All right, and welcome back to the show. It's Yuck Time, episode thirty-seven. I'm so fucking fucked up right now. It was four twenty two hours ago for us, us East Coaster type people. I guess it's still four twenty for you West Coast people. Still four twenty for me right now. But it's not like we do this show live or anything. So you know, four twenty every day. Twice a day. It's 420 somewhere. (laughs) Every day, twice a day is going to be 420. Yeah. We are broken clocks. Once a day or twice a day, we are, we we strike correct or something. And it is yuck time when that happens. Welcome back to yuck time. Episode 37, which is a very special episode. Number 37. Uh... Very few people on the planet probably uh, know where I'm about to go with this. Not necessarily very few people, but... If you know the number 37, and you're as much of a fucking hack as I am, then you may probably guess that this episode on on 420, of all days, is, is going to be about a certain filmmaker, a certain auteur, perhaps. Um... Who may or may not be uh, one of the greatest, the greatest artists of our time? <laughs> Tezo has some some words to say about this man having only now seen maybe two of his films in total. But the, the, um, the less cool Seth Rogen. The less cool Seth Rogen. I don't know if that. I, again, this is an unfair assessment in my opinion. Having uh, known beforehand that these the, these two individuals have worked together, Seth Rogen and the man I'm about to talk about, but it, it's Kevin Smith. Today we're talking about Kevin fucking Smith and uh, his his filmography, the View Askew universe, really, because that's that's like the the more stonery fucking. Uh, leg of his career which is really it's most of the fucking movies that he's made probably at least half is is uh the, the jay and silent bob universe which tezo surprisingly shockingly uh, i had not known that he wasn't really that familiar with eh eh no yeah he had told me that clerks 2 was the only kevin smith Jane Silent Bob adjacent film that he had previously seen before this evening. It was this animated thing too. And and there was also like that could be one of two different things. There was Jane Silent Bob's groovy cartoon movie or whatever the fuck it was called. And then there was also Clerks the Animated Series. One of them. One of them. Definitely came on Comedy Central late night. It's probably Yeah, who the fuck knows? But one of those two. Uncensored movies on Comedy Com- Central late night. Mm-hmm. Where you can see the girls going wild commercials. <laughs> Good times. God, what what an era. Terrible person. No, that 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 was back in the day, like when like the Howard Stern show was on TV and shit, and like you'd see those girls gone wild commercials and girls shit. He was like literally just interviewing like random ass like porn stars and shit. Drunk ass bitches with their titties out. Also, women who may or may not have featured on Girls Gone Wild. That was that was such a fucking era back to of, of Kevin television, Smith. dude. Back, back, <laughs> back to Kevin Smith. <laughs> <clears throat> this man has had an illustrious career. And we just watched a movie that I feel like Tezo should have seen a million years ago, but I guess he didn't, called Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Now, now this movie... Was basically like an Avengers movie before the fucking Avengers. Like this is this was Kevin Smith, like taking every single movie that he had he had previously made throughout the last like seven years before this, and combining them all into one. Like like they had there was already connections and shit. Like Jay and Silent Bob were in every single one of them, but in in so making a Jane Silent Bob focused movie he was able to to bring everyone basically that was in those movies back 
and and feature them in you know pretty pretty decent sizable little roles. Uh, a little bit Affleck say we make you regret it, I guess. Yeah, well, guilt. yeah, they'll guilt trip you. Oh, and there are connections here to be made uh, between that movie that we just watched and Jane Silent Bob reboot, which is basically the same fucking movie, but eighteen years later, right? Um, it hits a lot of the same beats. Like they go to Hollywood to to try to stop another movie about them being made, but for different reasons. And then you find out that yeah, like Jay had a kid with Justice and and shit like that. And and you know there there are a few wrinkles in the plot. But um, what what is interesting about like the more recent movies is that Kevin Smith himself does does make like fun of himself quite a lot more than like even in the last one like like the 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 one that we just watched he's making fun of Ben Affleck for the most part calling him like a rapist and and like a murderer and shit you know and just that that's always nice um for for your 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 close friends that 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 you 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 come up together and your careers blow up at the same time it's always nice for your your close friend to call you a rapist um no <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> i'm sure th- th- that it was just jokes and that's why it was in the movie but um well, it was some dark humor to it yeah uh, you know this is dark ass dumb ass humor and that fucking flick that yeah just i killed watched. the bitch <laughs> oh but i wasn't with a hooker today like implying that of course that he's killed a at least one hooker on another occasion you know so he's a, he's willing to poke fun at himself there, Ben Affleck, that is. But yeah, like in this newer movie, Kevin Smith making fun of himself all the fuck over the place, like to the point where he includes himself in the movie as a character separate from Silent Bob, which is weird as fuck. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, good, good fucking time all around. And I think, like, Tezo, you should maybe, like take a peek at, like, some of the other movies. Like, Dogma, I think you would think is funny. Like, I showed Tezo the trailer for Dogma the other day, and I don't think he gave a hot fuck about it. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but it's really fucking fun. And, like, there's there's more Chris Rock in the, that movie, too. Because <sighs> he shows up at the end of uh, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, as we just saw. Is... is <laughs> Like, like, basically, like, as Spike Lee. No. Um, he lost all his aura after the slap. <laughs> this was, like, 20 years before the slap, motherfucker. Look at that, it like, damn, you let Will Smith slap the shit out of <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Will Smith getting sucked off. Because that's something that we were just talking about, I guess, it's, for some reason. I, I forget why that, that... We were talking about Nick Cannon, I think. Quiet on the set. You no, know, Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown claiming to have sucked everyone off in, in Hollywood, basically. Like. <laughs> it eating out Raven with some more. It, oh, 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 I didn't know about that. Was this, uh, well, that was one of his first interviews. He's talking about what he's on uh, the What he say? Boobie the scoop bop bop. He did, he did, he did, he did, he was the funniest hell. Yeah, that nigga funny as hell. Well, that's something. He was high as hell, he looked like, boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, he, he been talking about all that. Fuck sick. I never heard about any of that. No, I just heard about him getting, like, fucked in the ass by, like, fucking Nick Cannon and whoever. Whoever. He humors, humors me, so I watch. <laughs> Orlando Brown. We're, we're we're shifting from a Kevin Smith spotlight episode to an Orlando Brown spotlight episode. No, there w- there will be no such thing ever happening on Yuck Time unless Orlando Brown reaches out to us personally and wants to come on the show as our first celebrity guest. I could probably find him somewhere. <laughs> somewhere in 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 on some shit. He stay on Cam Capone. Yeah. Now, yeah, Kevin Smith. I've been following the fucking guy for like a while, good while. I didn't see like Clerks or anything like that until way later. Like I was in high school when I started watching any of these movies. 
Yeah, that's what I think clerks too. I think round about. Bob bitches was going to get freaky in there, and they didn't. <laughs> well, Rosario Dawson talking about getting, like, fucked in her ass and shit. That's, that's you know, mm. I don't know. It's not. It's not too bad. That does not move me. <laughs> it moves me. It moves me a decent little bit. I have not moved to the the fecal region. Shit. <laughs> shit. Shit. In my sex life. Not bad. I might put my thumb up. It. It's <laughs> thumb. That's about it. Amateur. Yeah. That's no, but Rosario Dawson is in corks too. Then I'm gonna smell it. And she's she's the love interest in Corks too. And then I'm a if it don't do good. not say these things. I'm ble- I'm bleeping that out. <laughs> um, yeah, we are not we are not donkey bleeping women on our show. Um, but Rosario Dawson in Clerks two, good shit. You know what? I just watched Clerks three a few weeks ago, right? Clerks three is a movie that exists, regrettably. Um, I can't say it is quite on the level of uh, Clerks 2 or Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Out? Or even Jay and, Sil- Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. It came out like two years ago, right? Like like just barely any time ago in the grand scheme of the universe. That pandemic, is. pandemic one? Flick. <laughs> After, really, like post-pandemic. But like, I wouldn't credit. I'm about to piss some. I probably just pissed someone off saying that it was post pandemic, but whatever. It's splitting hairs. But Quirks 3, I don't really fuck with. You know what they did with Rosario Dawson? They killed her. They killed her, like, but like a month after, like, the events of Quirks 2. So it's like she's been dead for like 15 years by the time of Quirks 3. And and the lead character Dante is just like upset the entire time that she's been dead, and he hasn't been able to move on. You know, so that kind of sucked. And then you know what? They just fucking kill Dante at the end of the movie too. They give the, he has a heart attack. What happened? The 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 starting point of the of Clerks Three is that Randall has a heart attack first. And he's like, you know what? I've I've just been doing nothing with my life, living in fucking New Jersey. I, I'm fucking Randall, Randall Graves, and I've been living in New Jersey this whole time being a clerk. And I've been a loser, and I've been a fucking, you know, blah, blah, blah. But this is how I sound, is uh, Jeff Anderson, Randall Graves. No. Um, and, and he has a heart attack, and then he's like, you know what? I'm going to rethink my life, and we're going to make a movie out of our life. And the movie they make is literally Clerks 1, right? And it's like this do it yourself Because, like, Clerks 1 was, like, this, this like, super low budget. Like, it was shot in black and white. Like, like this, this fucking movie that Kevin Smith made, like, basically, like, like, all or nothing. Like, putting everything he got into, like, this movie. Like, this New Jersey motherfucker and all his dumb friends, like, putting this shit together for, like, no money at all. People act like New Jersey is in pro- close proximity to New York City. Well, well, but still, it's like, like, it may as well be Ohio, motherfucker. No, it's a train that go right there. That doesn't mean that the people there are are anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shout not. out to anyone who lives in New Jersey but who may be listening to this podcast, but I not. fucking hate every single one. No, I'm just kidding. Apparently not. That nigga made a movie. Well, he made a like, He's like the guy from New Jersey who fucking like made a movie and got the fuck like like. He 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 went to film school for like a year and dropped out or whatever the the fuck and. And he was like, "I'm not with that. I'm not with that culture. It costs way too fu- fucking much money." And like he, it was, it made more sense for him to take the money that he would have put into film school and and put it into actually making a movie. And it just so happened to work out, you know. But like, like really, like flying by the seat of your pants type of shit at that time because it was like 1994. And, and, you know, it's just like, it wasn't the kind of shit that was going on in that area where he was coming up, you know? So Boston does not count in the metropolitan. Boston's in the equation, but only for the very (laughs) specific reason that he managed to make friends with Ben fucking Affleck somehow. 
And these Some two fucking Boston hell. niggas just so happen to make a movie around the same time. Too. Well, the t- the two Boston boys, they're in like their own fucking special <laughs> camp. Like, like they're working with Gus Van Sant and shit. I mean, like, like, like Ben Affleck was already in like a couple movies. Like he was in Dazed and Confused. He was like doing bit parts and shit. You know, in in like the lead up to to him, like even fucking with Kevin Smith in the first place, like he was in Mallrats. That was their first comp or what? What's the word? He was in what? I was about to say like compilation or combination, but that is not the word I'm looking for. Ka 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 ka. It starts with a C. Fuck. This is content, by the way. Um, I'm I'm really gonna be struggling to fill an hour because I'm drunk as shit right now. I'm but reading about Red Bank, New Jersey. Red Bank, New Jersey is a fucking place that I have been to for at least one afternoon. It was nice. Shout out to Red Bank, New Jersey. Shout out to fucking Highland. Shout out to all all of Kevin Smith. You know, let's 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 fucking become friends with Kevin Smith, please. We could end up, he has a podcasting network, motherfucker. Like, he himself is on, like, four different podcasts, and then he's, he, he like, he's, he's just got, like, uh, fuck. If we could end up on the Smodcast network, if we could sell out in that very specific way, then, then fucking let us, let, let's go at it. Kevin, I'd love to meet you. I'd love to, to talk to you. Let's, let's sit down. Let's have lunch. I will not be paying for the lunch. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> Tezo and I would love to have lunch with you and pick your fucking brain because, like, oh, I'll also bring some of your weed. This man smokes so much fucking weed. Like, we, we will be set if we okay. hang out with this motherfucker. We will be set for life. You don't know that? Oh, please. Well, uh, Kevin, if you would like to, to prove my co host wrong and have a set for life in the weed department, then uh, hit us up at uh, www.yucktime.com where regular audience members you can sign up for our Patreon and for $3 a month as little as $3 a month you can get credited on our YouTube uploads and for a little bit more money you can get credited here on our regular audio uploads so uh, Kevin Smith hit us up pretty please we will become smodcast whores just for you. Don is. I mean, shit, dude. Like, 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 come on. Come on. Yeah, I, I, you know. I don't know what that means, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> for another month. It means we get money and you don't have to spend your, your sweet, sweet money from, from a special place that we can't talk about. Uh, the, the, the U.S. legal system, maybe. Um, it means you get to, to keep that in your pocket and we get to, to fucking, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, Kevin Smith fucking he's got podcasts going on like that's that's going to be easy search engine optimization for us potentially because I'm calling of what I'm titling this episode since there is a Jane Silent Bob podcast, which is literally just Kevin Smith and Jason Muse talking about their lives it's how I know so much about this fucking guy. Like, he, he he's told the story multiple times about how he met his wife, who we just saw in the movie. Um, She's Jersey, too? She was, like, a, a fucking interviewer for MTV or some shit, right? So they met after, like, like he was on the come up, and he was blowing the fuck up, and he was doing, like, press for his movies and shit, right? Like, after fucking Clarks and Mallrats and whatever the fuck. I think this was, like, Chasing Amy times. So this was, like, 1997 or so. And and she's doing an interview with him and whatever, and the interview goes good. But then, like, you know, the chemistry, like, the, the, they hit it off, and the sparks fly, and then, you know, they're, they're gonna fuck, right? Human interaction? They're gonna fuck. But... She starts jerking him off, right? But she's got like a a ring on one of her fingers, and and for whatever reason, the ring like catches on his dick in a certain way, and and she's jerking him off, and he doesn't want her to stop, right? Like she he he's loving this shit, but the ring is like ripping his dick open, 
<laughs> That's a nasty nigga. Right? So this guy gets his, like, dick ripped open by his future wife on the first date, essentially. That's a nasty nigga. And then I I think, like, they... I, I, I don't remember the rest of the story. They either, like, fucked or, like, she sucked him off after this. With his his dick, like, having his dick skin being ripped open. I mean... By... A <laughs> just a scrape. Okay. Just a scrape. Shit. Fuck. God. It's gonna burn in the pussy. Uh, well, no, no <laughs> fucking kidding, my friend. <laughs> Bad vibes. <laughs> no, no bueno. Not fun. That Sheesh. nigga like pain. He straight. I guess. Fuck. Freaky ass. Nigga. This dude had a heart attack a few years ago. And that's that was the inspiration for Clerks Three. Was him having his own heart attack that that may or may not have, you know, been life threatening. I mean, ain't that heart attack? <laughs> well, it was it was a widowmaker heart attack. So like like however many of his sh- shits were blocked up, so it was like extra bad. That you nigga know. be eating French fries. Well, like I think he had switched to his like vegan diet. At some point before this, but I'm not sure when exactly. Um, but yeah, who who the fuck knows? I'm glad that the guy's alive and he made these these last two movies and he didn't completely fucking kick the bucket. Yeah. Shout out to advances in medicine, medical technology. Shout out to medical technology. It's fucked up because I think his dad died of like the same ass like kind of heart attack, and he also told that story on his podcast about how his dad, his dad died in the hospital screaming during a fucking heart attack, and it was like tr- this fucked up shit to witness. I mean, you know, life choices. <laughs> I guess I don't know what the fuck his dad was on. The American diet in itself. That yeah, is true. Heart. the The standard American diet is sad, heart as, disease, as we call it. You know, and I'm on that shit every motherfucking day. Give me that grease. Give me them fats. Give me them motherfucking bacon and cheese. Give me that fucking shit. I just want to die. I just want to fucking die. One day, soon, sooner than later. No. I'm not gonna fucking put that on. They're like, I I would rather die slowly than die fast. That's for sure. Unless there was any sort of catharsis in me dying fast, like like me being killed by by someone who 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 has a right to kill me, like whoever the fuck is running the Fangoria Twitter account that blocked me. How Clearly, you have a problem with me for some fucking reason. How you they, may as well fucking kill me. How do they have the right? I don't fucking know. Well, I'm, clearly, I'm just coming up with straw men at this current point in time. <laughs> they don't have no right. I don't fucking care. No one has... I, well, if we're really getting at it, no one has any right to take a life it under be, God's eyes. It, I don't fucking know. It'd be know, random dude. accounts on Twitter that would be have you blocked, too. Random ass but accounts. I, I, even, I think it, it really was from whenever I pissed off, like, the social media managers... Or so whatever. Because I, I cannot think of a single fucking instance where, like, I didn't, I never came after Fangoria for any fucking reason unless I was super drunk and fucked up and I do not remember. You know? Because Fangoria, I like Fangoria. You know? I even, I just, you just put me on. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know it's what that a, was. It's a, it, is a, it is a horror publication that has been around since 1979. They have been on their shit, and they, I guess they hired someone who doesn't like me. They so. kept that shit low key. Yeah, fuck y'all. If you don't fuck, well, I mean, with that's the horror. Like you, you, you know, don't fuck with John. You're not, you're not in with the horror community. I mean, like I'm yeah, not well, in with the horror community, but that's that's one person I'm assuming is responsible for I, that. I fuck with bitches that like horror. Yeah. I don't care for that. These are like Freddy versus Jason type people that I feel like blocked me on fucking Twitter. I don't know. Like I'm a very a very specific like era. Hmm. I'm drinking water right now. That's why I'm muffling my mouth. <laughs> nah, that nigga drowning. No. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm drowning like like Jason at the end of fucking Freddy versus Jason. 
Uh, 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 uh. But yeah, man, fuck that shit. <laughs> Fan glory type of name is that. Like like fan, but gore, but Rhea, like diarrhea. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny because it's two people that follow it. Yeah, who who are the two people? You know one of them. I do. Mm-hmm. Is it a, a personal person I know? Yes. Okay. Well, that's the real. Well, of course. Like, it says more about you than it does about me and that person that you don't know, Vangoria motherfucker. But go on. Hey, man. I look at... Maybe it's just because we're crackers. No, nah, because the other person that <laughs> follows the site is bad chocolate chick. Oh, 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 wait. And she from Chicago. Excuse me? I don't want to dox her or, or anything. <laughs> this is the most light skinned individual I've ever seen in my life, sir. The so most. I think that puts points in my my fucking the most department. Not the most. Okay, I, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm I'm exaggerating. So I'm hyperbolizing. Shit. I'm like shit. That that's this why. is a comedy show, which we've seemed to have forgotten in the last seventeen episodes or so, where I've been trying to force it and make it about fucking movies or whatever the fuck. I need that one thing. No, but yeah, the, the, she's hot as fuck. Well, give me her number. I'm assuming. I don't know. This is, uh, I Damn. assume nothing. I assume nothing. Not to ducks. We shall not dox this individual who I have just looked upon for the first time in my life, but she is beautiful, and uh, yeah, let me let me get at that a little bit. Once in my lifetime, fuck Fangoria, yeah. fuck them, mm-hmm. fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. I guess they haven't blocked that other fucking person that we were talking about. Or me, or you. Well, you weren't following them. I was following them. Yeah, I think maybe I at some point. I forget. Yeah, I don't follow. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> But fuck them in their stupid asses. I'm taking that from the movie we just watched. Fuck them in their stupid asses. I'm a sports guy, Fangoria. <laughs> That's my horror. <laughs> yeah, the horror is Tezo losing money on fucking bets. It's terrible. Because these fucking sports ballers aren't doing their shit right. No, but yeah, 37. The number 37 was Kevin Smith's lucky number for whatever reason. And this is the story that um, uh, I, I've been wanting to tell Tezo all night, but I haven't gotten around to yet. Um, but he said on his, sh- his one of his podcasts, right, that when he got with his wife, he had only fucked 34 chicks, right? And so he was, like, hoping that he could convince his wife to, like, throw in a couple, like, threesomes in there just for his sake so he could get to 37. Quotations. Right? I I, I have to believe this man at his word. Because, like, this is, this is like, I, I was telling Tezo that this man has outpaced me. Right? I was, I was looking at the, the numbers and, like, when he married his wife was literally younger than I am now. So this man has fucked me over it's hardcore in terms of, of outpacing me in the number of, of bodies that we've hit. Because <laughs> I haven't even hit like my own age in terms of the number, the, the, the number that I'm at as of presently. Make of that what you will, audience. I don't think I have ever heard somebody compare the amount of bodies that they had to a rate of well, it's another. because like I don't know about like motherfuckers don't tell you their body count every fucking day of the week, and I just happen to know this fucking guy's body count, and this is years ago okay, that I learned this. Okay, I'm years say ago, but it was just the <laughs> other day. It was just the other day that I looked it up. It's like when did he marry his wife? Oh fuck, he was twenty eight, but a younger twenty eight than I currently am. So he fucked he fucked me over. He won. 
This fat fuck. This fat son of a bitch fucking wins the 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 the, the fucking I don't know. This arbitrary race that didn't exist until I just looked it up the other day. I mean, body, <laughs> body count was like a factor, like in high school. Well, no, yeah, like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I'm just bringing it up for the sake of content. You just got clickbaited, you fucking dumb pieces of shit. Ha 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 ha. And, and this is me making my jokes about it. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was funny. You said outpace. Because initially John said it. I'm like, what does he mean by outpacing? What is he? What is their pacing? Oh, yeah. I left it vague. I left it vague up until just now. It's like, I didn't know. You know, it's like what I could only fucking imagine what you were thinking you in were, your fucking head. <laughs> I kept like, it what? nice and ambiguous. <laughs> you talk about bodies. Yeah, right. It's like, what did you think I was fucking talking about? Wait, so could have been anything. Who's the person with the the thirty seven? Who was sucking thirty seven dicks? Is that real? The, 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 that was just made up for the okay, the okay. original clerks. That's that's the main character's girlfriend who sucked thirty seven okay. dicks. So that's so, a, so for whatever reason, thir- thirty seven was already his lucky number before that. Before he ever made that movie, and before he ever fucked as many bitches as he fucked. Man, he finessed his wife. Yeah. Uh. And I, I believe he's still at it. Who knows? I mean, like, like shit. Like he, he casts it. Like you know, it's some some hot chicks in his fucking shit. Even to this day, like there was this chick. God, there was this chick that got canceled. She got canceled after like he started working with her. But for like you know whatever she was on, it was the, she was on this show called Smilf or something. I think, yeah, it was called Smilf. I'm about to say that sound wild. It, but it, like, stood for, like, 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 single mother, or, like, because it was, like, she has a kid, right? It's, like, this MILF who has a kid, and, like, the show's about just, like... So, it's specifying a type of MILF. Yeah, specifying a type of MILF, but also, like, there was a double meaning, supposedly, because she's from, like, South Boston, and it's, like, Southie MILF. Or something like that. So it's like they were trying to do some like, oh, I'm a white girl from Boston. I, uh, yeah, I'm a white girl from Boston. Boston. I don't know how Boston people Care. sound. You know, like. You can. <laughs> uh, you, you pack, you can, yeah. Let's make fun of Boston on this episode. Where we're making fun of Ben Affleck and Matt Damon Fuck and shit. Boston. <laughs> Miami Heat and Five. Yeah, whatever he just said. Um. <laughs> I, I don't even, I've never been to Boston. I know like one person in Boston, and you know I love her. She's a great friend of mine. But like I don't want to talk too much shit. I've been to Boston and the surrounding areas. Yeah, a few times. God, I never really got to sit and chill in Boston though. No, no. It's always on the move. I don't really know a whole sh- shitload of a lot about Boston other than like revolutionary war shit that I learned in fucking history class and in grade school. I know, you know they're well. What I learned in grade school, well, they're very racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, 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 you're not wrong. Yeah, you're not that's wrong. what I learned. <laughs> Good God, it hurt his chill children now, but. but yeah, it was it was like this chick that that like made this this Smilf show, and she got canceled for like treating her her crew members like shit or something. Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Ellen DeGeneres got canceled for making Smilf. No, um, no, for being treated, <laughs> people like shit. Well, similar, similar, similar reasons. But she was just in this this uh, Jane Silent Bob reboot movie that I just watched. This this Smilf lady. Um, that was fun. But um, yeah, Boston and fucking Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. That that fucking like you have zero frame of reference for that fucking Goodwill Hunting shit that was in this movie nope. that we just watched. But that was like almost like a, like a like direct recreation of a scene in like the real Goodwill Hunting was the funny thing. And that's a movie that Ben Affleck and Matt Damon like wrote themselves and yeah, and, I know that. and got made. Yeah, I know with, that part. With fucking Robin Williams and shit. Saying, hmm, just some good friends to have. It's so fucking funny that like, but not only they did that, but they recreated the the fucking scene from that movie with like the random ass like ponytail guy 
that was in Goodwill Hunting. They got him back too, and then they shot him with a fucking shotgun. Only reason I know about that is because uh, he did like hot ones or something. He did something where they asked him about like how come yeah, in today's yeah, yeah, age yeah. most studios wouldn't give a, a director, I guess, or whatever writer the budget to create mm-hmm. a film of that magnitude. Those films that they was making. Well, it's yeah. like cut now. It's now it's Netflix. <laughs> Well, that's the fucking thing. It's like they were all working in like the indie realm of movies back then. Like making box office. Well, those movies made fucking hella money because they were good as shit. You know, like Goodwill Hunting. I haven't seen Goodwill Hunting, but it's a good, good fucking movie. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one. Yeah, well, the, yeah, you know, it's like like I've seen all this Kevin Smith bullshit, and it's like I know of Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. It's just like you don't have to fucking see every like. I haven't. I haven't even seen fucking American Pie all the way through, dude. That's that's some revealing shit. Just that I'm the saying first right one? now. Yeah, well, all of them. All of them, dude. I've seen bits and pieces for for every single one, but I have not watched any of them all the way through. I watched one. Yeah. Three. Band camp. Fucking hell. I, I guess the is it four <laughs> the the newest one. Four was um, reunion. Yeah, that one. That, that was, was last that's, one. that was still like a decade ago yeah, or whatever the fuck. That was so long ago. No, nah, American Pie was funny as it's fuck. It's gonna be like American Nursing Home next if they fucking come back, <laughs> right? Like, like what the fuck that else? American Pie and Van Wilder type shit. That shit was funny as hell. Oh, all that shit. Oh, and that's gonna get us like we we gotta talk about more stoner movies. You know, because, like, Tezo's gonna, gonna get me to watch How High, since I haven't watched How High. Yeah. But, like, that fucking feeds into, like, all of this, like, Cheech and Chong, that goes back, like, yeah, that, way was, the fuck before we were that, born. No, nah, that's what I was gonna compare this to. I'm like, Cheech and Chong is funnier. Mm. That's what, this is what remind me, but it's not Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> and what, the Asian they get guy, points for, for being fucking Mexicans and the Asian guy I guess. Chong ain't no Mexican that's, that's a Chinese a, Canadian Asian man guy. yeah Asian nigga yeah whatever but you a Mexican too oh you calling me a Mexican bro you look like one I'm not no Mexican and that's it's my show. perfect Tommy Chong impression that 70s show I thought he was a Mexican Confucius say you're a fucking dumbass for calling me Mexican man <laughs> You stupid piece of shit. Oh, why are they calling you fucking Mexican, Tommy? I, I can do the name. perfect impression because I'm fucking Hispanic, motherfucker. Oh, Tommy, why are they calling you fucking Mexican? I'm the fucking Mexican here. Am I even Mexican? I'm not even sure. I've been taking the DNA test, man. They both Mexican. Oh, fuck. That's classic stuff. Those those are two. Well, yeah, I definitely see Cheech and Chong. Those are two Ameri- like national treasures. I can't call them American. They ain't no fuck them. I was just, I was even a stoner when I seen that. I was just curious. <laughs> well, they, like we grew up on like that kind of shit, and also like they were like I know you hate the Spy Kids movies, but Cheech was in the Spy Kids movies when we were kids. He he was like grandpa, well, their fake uncle. Oh, oh, he was the spy nigga. Yeah, he was. He was like I mean, not the spy nigga. The the the. Op nigga. Well, he was the fake uncle, and then and then Danny Trejo was the real uncle. He wasn't an op. No, he was like 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 I'm pretending to be your uncle. I'm chill with your parents, but I'm not really your uncle. I'm just pretending to be your uncle, man. Like that 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 kind of character. Fuck them Cortezes. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shout out to Spike. It. No, fuck. <laughs> shout out to Robert Rodriguez. That's how I'm who I'm shouting out for that, and and also Antonio Banderas. And he Carla cool, yeah. Gugino. He was always cool because Zorro. Zorro was that nigga. Hell fucking yeah, Zorro. We're they, gonna do a Zorro episode at some point. They gotta reboot it. I'm I'm sure. They yeah, at some fucking point. Like they're gonna do another Zorro. All, all like the recent Zorro adaptations you know have been all Spanish and shit. Y'all should let me and John rewrite the next Zorro. We go Hell fucking yes. We We're go. going to make the best fucking Zora movie that's ever been made. We're gonna bring back Antonio Banderas. No. Yeah, what, he, are, what yeah. are you... He, we gotta bring him back. No, no, he's not gonna be Zoro, though. We, well, he's gotta pass the torch. Yeah. Because but, the original... He wasn't the original Zoro. The original Zoro passes the torch to him in his Zora movie. And, he, and now we gotta have Ando- Antonio Banderas pass the torch to Bad Bunny. No. 
Bad Bunny is going to be Puerto Rican Zorro. No. And we're going to make the best fucking movie that's ever been fucking made. No, Zorro, <laughs> our Zorro will be Jonathan Majors. <laughs> The big comeback. We're gonna piss a lot of people okay, off. Okay, we're gonna have Black Zorro, but he's but no woke no no no. no, no but, we gonna but, have woke Zorro. Here, here's the caveat: if he's gonna be Zorro, then he has to he has to play. He's got to be Dominican. Okay, he's gonna be Dominican Zorro, but he's yeah. gonna be he's gonna be the reluctant Dominican man who acknowledges that he's black at the nah. end of the movie. That has to be his story arc in the film: is that he acknowledges by the end. He said, yes, I, "I do am get black. black." He said, "I know black. <laughs> I, I, I eat black. I eat black. <laughs> eat black. I eat negro. I eat negro. <laughs> I eat negro. <laughs> Fucking eat black." <laughs> Best film ever fucking made one hey, trillion dollars at the box office. Shout out to the Dominicans in the Bronx. Fucking, <laughs> fucking Zorro sweep. Dominicans in the BK. Oh, fuck. Queens. I'm putting Bad Bunny in the movie, though. Oh, yeah. Bad not, Bunny could be in there. Even, even he if could, he's he not could, Zorro. He could be the main villain. Sure. He fuck used it. to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I seen what's that bullet train? We have to we have to have Antonio Banderas hand the torch down to Jonathan Majors. And and Bad Bunny not gonna fuck with it. He like, that should be me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have no no no. Here's what you do. You have remember how in the second like Antonio Banderas Zorro movie you have his kid? You have Bad Bunny play the grown up version of his kid. And he's like, I should be fucking Zorro SA or or whatever the fuck possible have him play it up yeah yeah that'll, that'll be some good shit that's that's a fucking money maker right there that's 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 asses and seats is what that is fuck yeah fuck yeah I'm cut trying, and print I'm trying to think who the love interest is gonna be yeah who is going to want to be the love interest for you gotta be a white bitch S sydney sweeney <laughs> mm. america's sweetheart Fuck yes. It is written in stone. It is it's happening. <laughs> this is a movie that's totally gonna happen. In theaters I guess. July twenty twenty seven. Trying to think of another female, but like, who the fuck else is there, motherfucker? Margaret Qualley? Like why do you wanna have a white bitch in there? Cause it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good enough reason for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about putting the Spanish, but Cavus, we, we gonna we gonna, we gonna throw some people in there. That was that was funny about the inclusion of Catherine Zeta Jones in the Antonio Banderas Zorro movies. Is like everyone thinks that she's a, a Hispanic bitch, even though she's from like fucking the United Kingdom. The she's Zeta, Welsh. The Zeta, Catherine Zeta Zeta Catherine Zeta Jones. A lineage poly. from Welshire yes, upon Stratford on Avon. That's probably like my cousin twice removed through slavery. <coughs> oh, fuck's sake. A few times. Do you have any white DNA in you, motherfucker? I mean, uh, uh, as a descendant of slaves, I believe so. Anything is possible, I suppose. I mean, I, 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 it's a great possibility. <laughs> the last names of my family members. This, yeah, this, the variation could have had a, skin tones. A, a Thomas Jefferson in your your lineage that, that I don't know about that went off on and it's just like, I gotta fuck every black woman I see. Thomas Jefferson was well, <laughs> yeah, like that's, that's an insane human being. Fuck that man. Anyway, let's go I mean, back to stoner look, shit. I understand. He was a stoner. He grew a shitload of weed. I know that's I understand. <laughs> he had the black people going the weed. You see the black woman out there, like damn. So you think he's here? I might have to. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh god, that bitch is so fucking good looking when she bends over and she picks the weed plants. Damn. Uh, Not in the crib. Uh, you, you got the house bitches oh, too. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, what they call them? What they call them? Um wenches or some shit? Wenches. Wenches, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's on some pirate shit. That's it's like no, going they, back they even be, a, like 150 years before those motherfuckers. No, it's, it's a Pirates of the Caribbean right. ass shit. <laughs> All right, John. There are plenty of wench. I'm sure wench like survived until that era. What's but, hilarious you know. is John don't know much about Black Twitter. 
He no. like surface level with it. If if I know, I know enough. Like when I do see black Twitter, it, it terrifies me just just enough. Where yeah. it's like I don't even have to click not interested or anything. It's just the tweets disappear after that. It's like it's like Elon <laughs> is trying to jump scare me with black Twitter tweets. You know, <laughs> he followed me, so he's gonna get it get. To- uh, well, like uh, 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 you, you, yeah, I guess, I guess, but. It's like a, it's a, what is they, what do they call themselves? Divestors? Investors. Divestors? Divestors. Yeah. It's like, I'm trying, I hope I, I don't want to offend nobody. <laughs> I don't know much about it because it kind of dumb to me, but. <laughs> Imagine if like you're trying not to offend like some horrible, like, like this, this sounds like this might be some wild shit. But I they, don't know. Are they like black women that encourage other black women to, you know, date and, you know, be outside the race oh so they be beefing oh. with well that's just well that's what that's just fetishism bullshit they be like the beef, i don't need i don't need no one dating me just because i'm any one fucking quality they be beefing and the niggas be calling them and i'm like damn why you got why she gotta be on that i'll be like damn, it, is, a, it is very funny that does sound hilarious i don't see that a lot of the time usually i see like, yeah i, I try opposite. to avoid that like that's like when you die it's like a lot of internal problems like i'm like damn <laughs> y'all ain't got beef like that they could fuck with who they want to fuck with y'all fuck with y'all ain't got to put nobody down y'all In terms got- of this is a teaching lesson about how the black community is not a monolith if you if you was paying attention like doja cat that time oh God. Doja oh, Cat fuck. made the song. Dig- she's on her own bullshit. Like, this is like, she's like, yeah, that's like the extreme. That's like the <laughs> super extreme. I want to say she is one. I never seen her profess. I don't know much. Like, I ain't, they deep down in the Doja You don't Cat. even have to profess it. It's just like who you fuck with. The fact that she was on 4chan fucking with all those fucking guys. Man, she white mama. You know? She got a white mama. She white. But but the fact that she was race baiting those fucking guys hey, and like feeding into it, you know, it that's, her, that's it like a, her to a very she specific group of people that I, you're fucking with at that point. It got her to where she at now. I, I, I respect it. It's like, let's dilute your bloodline even further, you fucking mostly not black bitch. Like, like psycho shit. And that's like, how I found out about what is it? Uh, the, the, uh, well... The branch broken shit wasn't from Black Twitter. That was from like deep diving. That's into that's like, from fucking crackers, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was me deep diving into the the white side a little bit. Yeah, that was like the the, the like the ancient like yeah, like I'm, I'm calling it ancient. That? That's like the 1800s. It's just like any time any fucking white girl like got with a black dude. Like, what does this mean? That and it's like I the most out. racist fucking shit. Like, like, damn, the, the whole branch. It's, just it's said, Fuck shocking. That. Like that. They I, cut the tree down. Fuck it. I'm like I'm so thankful that my family, at least like in my lifetime, has never been on any of that shit. You know, I don't know how we went from Kevin Smith to this. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is fine. This it's is all good. Of Twitter. This is a perfectly good diversion. We'll go for maybe an extra ten minutes after. I, this is all good shit, dude. This is this is <laughs> this is the meat of yuck time. This is the essence of yuck time is race relations. No. <laughs> it's not even race relations it's like in, in, intra well in, yeah intra intra race like like just arguments about like who should be fucking who and it's it's like it's tiresome it, it's it's what's the point i blame the bots too I, because I, the heart wants what the heart it's wants too many bots the it, elon supreme court v loving or whatever the fuck clarence Clean thomas can up. suck a dick Please clean these bots up. All that shit. Oh yeah, and the bots are just straight up like showing tits now. They're just they're just posting tits and threads. AI. Is just I feel like they were doing that a, a little while back, but then they stopped, and now they're doing it again. Let's go back to stoners. <laughs> Let's talk about the knockoff Cheech and Chong. Uh, Harold and Kumar. Oh, I thought you were gonna say James <laughs> Franco and Seth Rogen. James Franco. Oh, we'll get to them, but in a little bit because like I got I like. That that's like an evolution of the stoner movie genre in a way, where like I don't feel like we're ready for that. I ain't but in terms, finding out that nigga gay kind of changed my perception of those movies. Who Cal Penn? I'm gonna pretend that I didn't say what I just said and therefore be racist. Yeah, <laughs> Cal Penn, that nigga he keep coming out. 
<laughs> oh man, Cal Penn. Kudos to Cal Penn. You know, like he 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 quit acting to work for Obama in the White House for some reason. Terrorists. And then he went back to acting. No, that's that's funny because that's after he played a terrorist on Twenty Four. He was in fucking Twenty Four. Obama, for a season. Obama said, I like killing niggas like you. Uh, <laughs> You're not wrong. Come work for me. That man blew up so much shit, it's not even funny. Said we got him. We found Bin Laden. <laughs> Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar. What was it? Uh, Guantanamo Bay? Guantanamo Bay, eating the cock meat sandwich. That shit was hilarious. That was fucked up. That was hilarious. That was literally like, like they ripped that hilarious. scene off from Jane Silent and Bob Strike Back. It's like the other terrorists. I'm talking in the, about the, the whole movie. Just the whole movie. Well, the movie's hilarious, but that specific scene, the cock meat sandwich scene where they're actually in Gu- Guantanamo, like, like that's literally like, like, oh, the, oh, you gotta fucking, you know, you gotta play ball when you're a terrorist. This is me doing my George Carlin impression as if he was in this movie. You gotta be, a, you know, you gotta suck cock when you're a fucking terrorist in Guantanamo Bay. You gotta, you gotta fucking. You know, you gotta eat the cock meat sandwich. They literally ripped that fucking scene off from, like, George Carlin sucking dick on the highway in, in Jade Silent Bob. It's like the same fucking thing. Except with terrorism. When they had that fucking... Politics. What was it? Oh, inbred. <laughs> Digging in the basement. Oh my fucking god! Crash into oh the my fuck! Crib. Yeah, where it's it's like the same scene as like the, the the first movie, but it's like oh this couple seems normal. No, they have an inbred child in their fucking basement. Oh god! Oh god! I forget who the, who who was even in that scene. It was like some famous motherfuckers. Then there was some a, actress a who's like meme. some wildly hot actress is in that scene. And yeah, the KKK scene with Christopher Maloney. Classic shit. That one, that one's mine. That's a fucking great film. I also like the Christmas one. I grew up with White Castle, so I didn't really see the hype. No? Go to White Castle. I mean, when I got older and when I first started smoking, then I came back home and then I had White Castle. I understood a little more. <laughs> but that well, shit gave you, you the runs. As, as the complete opposite, as a person who did not grow up with White Castle or weed in any capacity, yeah. Um, very much saw the light in my later years of life. That 30 case used to hit, though, I ain't gonna lie to you. Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, like that, or like the order they get at the end of the fucking movie in the first one. It's It was like such aspirational shit. And I'm sure that, like, you know, they were just like pulling from like, fucking memories or whatever it's like we've done this shit before we've gotten fucked up and just gone to white castle and ordered like goddamn it's a picture somewhere where me and my homies we was making pyramids with the white castle oh, across the fuck. i'm picturing them in my, in my head right kitchen. now right the fuck now i had i just had sliders yesterday and I, i'm craving sliders right now eh. <laughs> Talking about uh, not even white, just sliders of any okay, origin. Okay, I'm about to say yeah. I focus. I'm uh, yeah. Sliders are the shit. White Castle out here trash. Yeah, you know, I, I, it may or may not have given my ex girlfriend such food poisoning that she had an ulcer for three months. Um, who knows? Who knows? I definitely got food poisoning from one of them bitches. <laughs> yeah. But fucking Pineapple Express was really when, like, those kinds of movies... Like, like, Harold and Kumar had, like... I don't know, even Jane Silent Bob had, like, you know, they got their dumb little corny action scenes or whatever in them, but, like, Pineapple Express has, like, fucking blood and guts and shit flying around everywhere. Don't fucking up Danny McBride, boy. Did Danny McBride getting the most fucked up that anyone that in, ever mo- in any movie has ever been fucked up? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that niggas was stupid. Pineapple Express. <laughs> it's so fucking good. That's a that's the ultimate. I remember when niggas wanted to smoke that so bad. It's okay as a strain. That's what it's I'm saying. All right. I'm saying it's like want, any other fucking strain, niggas, dude. Niggas wanted Pineapple Express, but like I need that. 
we've all anyone who smoked weed for any amount of time that's longer than like a month has probably smoked fucking pineapple express i don't know and maybe that's in that's you said a true. month not in this time period Maybe not, but like that shit was going around. Like even by the time that I started fucking smoking, which That's was like a good time, you That's know, still long time after ago. that fucking movie. That's still a long time ago. Yeah, 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 a decade ago. Shit, dog. Long time ago. That's some shit. Stone Age strange down there now. It's strange. I feel like you could, like, if you really wanted to find it, I feel like you could find it, though. Yeah, it gotta be a good grow. It's gonna be out there. A reliable grow. Shit. One of these Where old, seeds old head from? grows. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We'll... One of these labs. It's too much in it now. <laughs> I fuck with it, though. Uh, good shit, but yeah, this it's a nice end. novelty. It's a novelty strain. It's like you know, fucking, fucking purple haze. It's like one of those. That's very yeah. I ain't never had that. I've had purple haze. Never had. I'm talking about the real haze from Washington Heights. Real haze from Washington. Mm. I ain't had that. The shit yeah. that Cameron with Cameron was rapping about. <laughs> yeah, I ain't had that. Yeah. I heard it had some shit that somebody said was some haze. Sure. Niggas say it's There anything. are plenty of haze crosses. Yeah, niggas, the, said, niggas say this shit anything sometimes. Back in them days, when you just came a little baggy. <laughs> Pineapple Express and fucking Danny McBride. They, they, like, that's that's a collaboration. Like, like because the director of Pineapple Express and Danny McBride went on to, to write and direct the, the Halloween reboot trilogy that we found so fucking amusing in the last few years. The <laughs> Stick to comedy. <laughs> hey, that fucking that, that 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 moment when the chick shoots herself in the face with the gun, that's fucking pure comedy right there. Dumb. <laughs> that was a dumb f- Halloween Kills is a dumbass fucking movie. But Pineapple Express is good going back. James Franco's is a creep. Dave Franco is the good Franco now. He's he's still getting work. That's the young one, right? Yes. The slightly younger one who is in 21 Jump Street and and other such films. He was in that lesbian movie, Love Lies Bleeding, with, with the bodybuilding lesbian chick that, that came out a little while back that we sort of talked about, even though neither of us saw it. So, yeah... He had a mustache in that shit. Like an 80s mustache. I'm trying to think of other... I mean... What was that? Wiz go to... Oh, Wiz Cleave had one. Oh, God. Mac and Devin go to high school. Hell that yeah. fucking shit, dude. Oh, where we're, we're Snoop Dogg is 50 years old, but he's playing a high schooler who's only been held back like seven years. So what uh, we <laughs> So, so what, we smoke weed, we just have we'll fun. fun, we don't care who sees, that that so what, we go out, that's how it's supposed to be, living young and wild and free, we're gonna get sued so that fucking movie, fast that for, movie for singing was, that shit. Yeah, that movie was, that movie was that was terrible. a fu- <laughs> but that was a certified fucking radio banger back in the yeah, day, music, motherfucker. Music soundtrack was dope, but the movie wasn't that good. Well, I want to smoke bone, want to live like I want to boss a party. Well, I want to smoke bone. How high is a stupid movie, too? Yeah. Because how high they smoked their friend and ace the fucking what? Well, it's S A T or A C T. Was it? <laughs> One Perfect of them. Perfect scores. One of them. I have yet to watch it. I just downloaded it, and I will be watching it. I remember. I like. I just remember like fucking Method Man and Red Man being in fucking goddamn scary movie four. Like the one little like scene that they're in, where it's like, "Hey man, you see this red weed?" <laughs> and he fucking exhales a cloud of red smoke, and he's like, "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> It's like the fucking the, the Martian weed is taking over the planet and shit. Oh, so beautiful. And also Redmond's fucking appearance in, in Seed of Chucky. Where when Chucky tries to possess him and and, and become Redman. 
in, that in, is in take over his life and career. Yeah, that that is such fucking like his his movie appearances. They had top a show. notch. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fucking. I thought they was shit. brothers when I was little. <laughs> the Man Brothers. Yeah, Method Man and Red Man. <laughs> <laughs> then Good. I found out about Wu Tang and everything. Like, Good oh. shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's 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 feels like ancient history. I'm trying to think, what else would consider to be a stone? There are so many that we haven't even touched on that I'm sure we forget. What what is the Dave Chappelle one? Where he get no he get locked up, they friend get locked up. That was that was fucking half baked. Half baked, yep. Yeah, which I also haven't seen. Damn, I, I used to have it. I had it on like PSP. Yeah. Fuck PSP movie. PSP dude. video I had half baked was one of them. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> No, but then I think I was also saying earlier, like, Grandma's Boy, I think, is a stoner comedy. Uh, it's a Grandma Boy. That, it's that, funny, that, though. That movie's retarded. I, that movie's I see fucking it, I dumb see, as shit. That's a movie I've seen on Comedy Central. Yeah, that, that, that made the Comedy Central rounds. That was on, like, every single fucking day on Comedy Central. Because they were trying to get their money out of it. You know? Smiley face. Oh, smile! I, I haven't seen Smiley. Did you see that? It's the one with Anna Ferris where she just gets like horrifically fucked up and she's just like high the whole day. Something like that. I'm not entirely certain. I've seen it a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> now there's other stuff that also like that like like a lot of those stupid ass Judd Apatow That's like movies. Almost early Netflix damn near. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Also, like, a lot of those Judd Avatar movies from back in the day, it's like, they'll smoke a little weed. Like, fucking super bad. Daisy Confused is considered... Yeah, yeah. I guess, you know. Super bad? I don't consider super bad, no. Well, that's the thing. It's like they're drinking just as much as they're smoking. Saying, or, like, even more so. A stoner movie. You know? I guess stoners made it. Well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was gonna say this is the end, but... I That's more of a stoner movie than any of those other ones. That I was we just gonna mentioned. say that, but it's not really. It is. It, I mean, like just the opening, like sequel, like like before the before the world weed. even they're ends. Saying, yeah, they're smoking he hella wanna, fucking he weed. I just want to chill at your career, smoke weed. I'll fuck James Franco. You know? Yeah, it's like fuck James Franco. Man. Fuck James Franco. Oh, how do I do the J Burr shelf? Fuck James Franco, man. I I, I don't want to go to James Franco's house. I just want to smoke weed with you, Seth. I, I like I I hate these American motherfuckers. I just want to hang out with you, my Canadian best friend, because we're from Canada. It's my Jay Baruchel, uh impression that I didn't do just now, holding my nose. <laughs> I didn't see Bad Trip. Oh, Bad Trip is good as fuck. You got to watch. They Bad saying Trip. Friday. I've showed you some clips from Bad Trip. They saying Friday a stoner movie. Get the fuck out. I, not really. Nah. Like I, I guess mean, if you should consider just, but, Smokey the main character, so the mo- just a little bit, just a, like just as much as like like Smokey, a couple of the, like just as much as Super Bad or anything like that. You know, Smokey's storyline is he ran off on like a zip. Yeah, and he, like, but he's like the one like big major fucking stoner character. So the, I don't know. And he get the, and he cube. get he gets ice cube high in the one scene, but that's that's like yeah, like Ted, yeah. Eh, I guess Ted, fuck off, fuck off, like yeah, you're really pushing it, like when you're coming up against with that shit. They got it's smiling, like scraping the bottom of the barrel. Out Express, stay inside the ball, strike back. Eh. Yes, sir. Hell, the yeah, hell, the, hell, the new Jane Jane Silent Bob movie had like weed as a central plot point because they had like three joints with them. It was like their last three joints, and like they were only saving them for special occasions. So like they like every you know the each of the three joints get used up in the movie at different at different intervals, in in plot influencing ways. They better than me. Yeah, <laughs> you would have smoked all three of them That'll motherfuckers at the same gone. time. Come on, we getting <laughs> lit's real quick. Bro. Ah! There's gonna be some more weed later. Fuck, man. Oh man, we grow out the ground. <laughs> There's always more weed. That shit reproduce easy. <laughs> yeah. Tenacious D. 
Oh, Tenacious D. Tenacious D feels like the most forced fucking stoner movie. It feels yeah, like they, they like... The next movie is Scary Movie. They shoved kinda, that shit in there. Scary Movie 2, I would say, is more of a stoner movie than Scary Movie 1. Scary, scary Movie 1 is... It's, mm, uh, scary Movie... If, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> when the tree smokes... Mo- he literally smokes short. He rolls sh- shorty up in a in a joint. Fear and smokes in Vegas. Up in smoke, I seen that. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas is every drug, so that doesn't really count. Reefer Madness. Reefer Madness from the I, the OG or two thousand five. Nineteen thirty six. Yeah, that's that's a that's an anti weed propaganda film. I did not see it. That's that's the film that made like weed illegal in the United States, basically. Some of so plain. Dude, where's my car? Gotta be. Oh my fucking god! How have we forgotten, dude? Where's my car? Because that that creep fuck Ashton Kutcher was was the lead in it. No disrespect to his co-star Sean William Scott Stifler, our hero, our lord and savior. Dude, <laughs> got a tattoo. <laughs> what does yours say? Ray. Or, or, no, no, he, <laughs> no, you're thinking a scary movie too. Ray, fuck me. Ray, fuck me. Ray. Like, wait a second. <laughs> and with that, with with that wonderful joke that we are we are referencing from a movie that came out 22 years ago or whenever the fuck it came out. We will see you next time on Yuck Time on a non-Kevin Smith-centered episode of Yuck Time. But Kevin, if you have listened to us this far, please consider uh, hiring us to be on your podcast network. We will fucking do whatever you want us to, or at least I will. How about we make this movie and get on... Um, Let's make a movie, Kevin! Get Jonathan Majors back up in it. Let's make Zorro Returns, or whatever the fuck we're gonna call it. Zorro Z- Lives. Z- I didn't even tell Tezo about the fucking Superman movie you wrote. Zorro we'll, Begins. Mm-hmm. Zorro Begins. <laughs> Zorro Begins Again. Zoro, Zoro, oh god, there, I can't. Zoro, the Dark Knight. I, I, I'm about to say it's like I'm struggling to make a pun here, <laughs> a Jonathan Majors related pun. But with that, we will see you next Love time. Love Crab Zoro. We will see you on on next week's Yuck Time. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe to us on Patreon for three dollars a month. I've already mentioned to you what benefits you'd get. But in addition to those, you also get bonus content in the form of extended episodes, commentary tracks, other sorts of shit, stuff like that. So for as little as $3 a month, get credited on our show, or at least on YouTube, and uh, get access to all that stuff, and follow us on x slash Twitter, Twitter slash x. I'm just gonna, I should just call it Twitter. Fuck, fuck Elon. Fuck that piece of shit. I'm higher than Elon Musk. (laughs) Um, follow us on, on X, or, god damn it, follow us on Twitter at Yucko Prime, Instagram at yuck.time. Um, we love you. I, maybe. Do we love you? Do we love our audience, Tezo? Yes. Yes! And we'll see you next time on Yuck Time. Goodbye.